going a day without water is hard to imagine. But so is paying a lot more money for the same thing that comes out of a tap. Americans are the number one consumers of bottled water in the world. Our success is based on providing people with what they want. But why are people paying so much more than they have to? Could the bottled water industry simply be tricking us? Bottled water is a huge scam. You know, when you buy bottled water, you're paying hundreds, if not thousands of times the cost that you would be paying to simply access tap that already flows. Almost half of bottled water is in fact just tap water. Tap water that's just filtered by corporations instead of the consumer at home. Ads with the alluring glaciers on bottles and gorgeous celebrities make bottled water seem so much better. And emerges crisp and refreshing enough to be called Poland Spring. People are like children, you know. You show, and also they, they probably design it so people like to hold it and they show like other beautiful people or rivers coming down mountains so you it's all about health so yeah it's it is a we're total fools basically <laughs> experts say it's a common misconception that bottled water is more pure and safe than tap pure marketing um, the companies are making billions of dollars um, selling this product that's more expensive than gasoline at this point um, to people and so they they definitely benefit from um, people thinking that tap water is um, not as safe as bottled water. Why? Because they simply can get away with it. The Think Outside the Bottle campaign is one of an increasing number of groups challenging the corporations. For the past three decades, the bottled water industry, namely Coke, Pepsi and Nestle, have attempted to convince us that the only place to get clean and safe water is out of a bottle, which we know is not true. The private water industry is really aggressively pushing a radical agenda to put public water that is a human right into private hands for profit. In countries where pollution is high, people have no choice. But for Americans, there certainly is. Experts say consumers just need to be more informed. Tap water is actually more regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency than bottled water is by the Food and Drug Administration. While recycling is supposed to make consumers feel better, in reality, plastic accumulation is at a peak. 75% of bottles end up in our landfills oceans, rivers, lakes, you now see them, you know, littering the landscape and, and again only 25% of them end up recycled and I think most people think that that rate is much higher. In times when energy and water resources are growing scarce, the Pacific Institute found that the equivalent of 32 and 54 million, um, million barrels of oil are used in a year by the bottled water industry and this is the equivalent, it would fuel between one and two million cars a year. This will keep up unless perceptions change. And we have a population growing, so are we going to buy more and more bottles of water? And more and more brands are coming every day, pure this, pure that. Water with, and it's not just bottle of water, now it's like water with taste, water with energy. Activists say it's time to break the myth and for consumers to change habits before water as a human right is lost. Who is it that we want to be providing our water? Is it corporations, Nestle, Pepsi, Coke? that are um, seeking water for profit? Or is it in fact that we want our own democratically governed towns and cities to be the ones that are providing us with water? If we take into account the huge price markups for a product that's available in most homes, as well as the health, environmental, and regulation concerns, it might be a good time to stop and think, does one really need this, considering life on Earth existed without plastic bottles just a few decades ago? Or is the trend just too irresistible to stop the flow? Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.